the channel so I'm gonna do my hair again finally take out the people in locks I just came back from the hair store and yes I went with my head looking like this because someone has to not care my hair is blow dried but not fully to stretch it was blow dry just to dry it I want to do blonde okay so the initial plan the initial plan was to do goddess braids right and you know them like curly the the um curly what do you call it water wave like the same texture that you use for the locks yeah, the same locks the last time they didn't have any gone they barely had any at all so different plan we're gonna do something like you know the long braids beyonce had and the ends was curly i should look at this way yeah we're gonna do that so let me just show you what i got all right so let's go down we got a pack of 27. we got a pack of 27 okay we got this that's that's one we got a pack of 30. pack of 30. and a pack of 13. wait wrong this is the same same 13. 13. i have a pack of two in a completely different brand um you could also just get a 1b but i have a two so you'll use a two. Ooh, it's hot it's hot and let's just uh, mix them together create a little blonde mixture and let's see how how that works i don't really know what i'm doing today but yeah all right so i just took out half of each pack of hair so i would cut it in half as you see and then i would just put those halves of each color together and i would just pull them apart blend them pull them apart blend them i did this for a long time like this video is sped up but trust me like 20 minutes just blending hair blending hair blending hair you need to split the pack in you need to split this portion in half and blend again it takes a long time just blend 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 it should be blended better than this but i got tired so <laughs> yeah just take half of each color of the pack and blend them together until you get this and that should be enough hair now i'm honestly not gonna like do this too much because the video has become repetitive but i'm taking three pieces of this size so there's three pieces from you know the blended piece this is the wax that i'm using doing like mediumish sections not too too big well, actually not big at all but not too tiny gonna put the wax around the section and then begin braiding now i'm using the knotless method but i'm not really aiming for them to look perfectly knotless i'm just doing it for to release the tension on my scalp so i'm going to let you guys watch this one and then i'm gonna come back and explain what i'm doing although i do have many videos of me showing this exact same technique and i will list those in the description box So after you put the wax, split the section into three. Now you're gonna put two of those pieces in one hand and then take the left hand and grab the piece to the very right and twist over. Take the right hand, grab the piece to the very left. Once you've done that, use your pointer finger and grab the hair underneath. A tip is to always grab with the same finger on the same side. So once I do one, two, three, four, I end up on the left side again, that same pointer finger and grab underneath gonna try and explain this one more time but there are other videos where i've explained this in depth it's just pretty repetitive and pretty simple so yeah it should be very easy to catch on
All right, so I'm going to split this section into three, and then I'm going to take my right hand. Don't look at my nails. I got them done the next day. I'm going to take my right hand. I'm going to grab two out of the three sections, right? So I'm grabbing two of those sections and the right hand, leaving one in the left. Now I'll take that left hand and grab the piece to the very end. Take it out of the right hand. I'm going to have one piece left back, right? Take the right hand, grab the piece to the very left now. Now, after you've done this, like a one-two grab, now that you've grabbed twice, you can add a piece of hair under the pointer finger. That's how you're going to start the braid. And then you're going to continue now grabbing the piece to the very right. Take the right hand, grabbing the piece to the very left. That is two grabs. You're going to do two more grabs before you add another piece of hair. I do it like this just so the root isn't bulky. So that's three and then four. Now I add another piece. I'm going to do the same thing for the last piece of hair. Grabbing it under the same finger each time on the same side, which is typically why I like to count to a particular number to ensure that I get to the same side. So one, two, two more. Take the left hand, grab to the right. That's three. Take the right hand, grab what's to the very end of the left. That is four. End up back in the same position. Add the last piece of hair and then just braid it down. So when I did the braids, I did leave like pieces of the ends unbraided just a little bit. And this is how I wrapped it. So I would just wrap the ends on one part of the flexi rod. And once the end is secured and doesn't unravel, I wind going up 
twirl going up and then lock it in. Alright, so this is the end of the video. This is how it turned out. When I first took out the curls, they were a little tighter than this. So you just kind of give them a day to loosen up. Just pull on them a little, separate them, and they'll loosen up as the days go by. But that's about it. It's cute. It's really, really cute. I like it. Right now, I feel pretty. So. Yeah, this is a pretty simple video. I mean, you know I'm always gonna. There's one thing I'm gonna do is braid my hair. I just got my nails done, I already broke one, so that's fantastic. It's freaking fantastic, but. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I have something exciting coming up when I do my hair. I don't think y'all on YouTube will expect it, but yeah, that's it. And I'm about to go. So we'll see you in my next video. Bye.